hello and welcome once again to this uh, series of videos uh, thank you very much for keeping up with this video so far in this video i'm going to demonstrate to you on how to share a video on moodle but this time i want us to look at how do we share your videos to be add some interactivity uh, so in the previous video we shared directly on the moodle page and we shared by means of a link, by direct down uploading, and also by bidding. So this time around, we are going to also share by the link, but the tool we are going to use is uh, the H5P for interactivity. So I'll go on, uh, start by adding activity resources. And uh, I first want us to take note of uh, there are two H5P activities on, on Moodle. Uh, the first one in, allows you to upload content from your content bank. So you can create, you can go to the content bank and add content. Uh, creating content bank is something else. I will cover it in some other series. Yeah, but yeah, you will be able to download content from your content bank with this um, activity or with this tool. Whereas with this tool, you will be able to directly create content. Um, um interactive content so let us uh, uh, start it and see okay here of course you need to add a bit of description of uh, the activity and then here um you notice that there are a number of uh, content types that but for the purpose of this video we are focusing on uh, videos and i want us to make interactive video so therefore i will click on interactive video here and then you will notice there are three steps here in creating this interactive content with a video the first one is uh, the first step is to upload or embed a video and then uh, you add interaction and then you add the summary to that particular task so let us start by adding a video and i would i would like to add a video by means of um uh, a link so um i copied a link from uh, my YouTube, one of my YouTube uh, uh, videos, and then press it here and click insert. The reason why the insertion of a video, I mean, the uh, creation, I mean, sharing via a YouTube link is that there could be implications with the video content and a video file type that, that can have issues. And when you share your video directly from YouTube, uh, the any issue regarding the the file type is not likely to affect you right so now we have um, added our video okay you can be able to edit the copyright issues about this video okay so i think in the interest of um i'll just quickly do this uh, hope it won't make the video too long but ed gabriel oh the, the title is um editing videos uh, open and free tools let me put it this way okay i say the author is gabriel then the year is 23 the source code is i uh, will put a link to youtube and then i'll say well let this one be attribution cc by and then the version as is at is as it is right then um i'll just need to close this and then the next thing and we need to do then is to add interactivity so if we click on add interactivity our video will be ready and you can start playing it so that you can um um you can uh, choose at which step to add interactivity but you can also choose to add any interactivity straight away so for this one i would like to add an interactivity and you see here the interactivity that will be uh, that you can add here you can add text you can add a table you can add another link you can add image statements single choice set multiple choice questions true or false questions fill in the blank drag and drop 
you can almost add all the question types and the other text. It's almost as if you are um, editing the video, but not really you are you are editing the video by adding or yes, by adding uh, other tools. So I want us to, for example, add um, a multiple choice question. And um, okay, the title and the uh, while I'm adding a multiple choice question, I would want to pause the video when the question comes. Okay, very important. Pause the video so that the, the, the student or the learner can be able to um, pay attention to the question. And then, um, okay, so we uh, continue by let's say we want to add the label to that particular question you will notice that you'll be able to format the text but okay um let's call this one uh re knowledge check okay it's, uh, then i'll add the question here Let's say you want to add a question. This is um, for editing. Okay, maybe let's just put it that way. And then let's have um, option here. Um, any video from internet? No, this is not the correct answer. Um, okay, video shared on Social media. Okay, that's also not correct. So we will add another option, and perhaps we say video licensed only in public domain. I could actually make um, this more um, more complex also by making it a, 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 a multiple with multiple answers. But in the meantime, let us leave it to only having this one as a as an answer. But I think I can also yes, I can make it multiple answers. So I would no, this is not the correct one. So I can I can split this one. I I will say video licensed. And uh, Creative Commons. CC by, I'll put non-derivative here because the one that are, that are, that have non-derivative, then they are not, they should, they shouldn't be Copy it. So I'll add another option. Then I'll say um, the same option here. Then ABCC by, and this is um, this is not correct. This would be correct, and maybe the last option is a um, video from public domain okay and this is also correct so i can add a number of uh, score range um, but i will say um,
Yeah, this core range is, 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 is too general. I, I'm just trying to avoid this video becoming too long, but you would define more score range for the feedback of the student. For example, this is 0 to 100. It is a long range. You would want to define a range of maybe 0 to 20, 0 to 50, and so on and so on. Um, maybe I'll just say well done here, but you need to take note that you need to define a, a different ranges um, for the effectiveness of, for, for the sake of pedagogy. Okay, so I would not go to the behavior settings and ad adaptivity. We'll cover this in the other series. So let us just add that as it is. And you will see uh, immediately before this video starts playing, it will pause and then um, students will then have to click. Uh, 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 then the question will then pop up. But we'll see that once we save. In the meantime, we we... I would just want to skip a lot of other settings because I want us to just focus on the effect of adding the video and adding the activity. You could play the video, you could actually play the video, and then you can um, you can add more in the activity. It does not mean when I will add this question at this level, then you can't add other activity. Okay, so you'll be able to say, for example, you can fast forward. Let's say we bring it here, or we bring it here, and then I would want to add might be another a true or false question here. Um, okay, maybe check progress might be number two, and I'll say where well, I'll say. Um, I'll say the, the actual question is, uh, let's put it as, um, oh yeah, true or false, right? There we say, copying the video. Not included the editing sheets, okay? Or it's not an editing action, right? So we know this this is false. So we put it that way, and we we are done. So now let us save and display. Or oh, we need to title the the entire um, activity, and the entire activity is all about editing. Uh, videos uh, free and open tools okay There we have it now let us preview it we have it now how this is how the student will view it and if we play okay immediately when we play we have this question that will pop up where would you get video so the student will already have to answer some questions they have the option um okay not any okay for i think and then they can check and then they will get feedback straight away all right so then it, the, the video will continue to play. You will notice that um, another question will come here. So you need, okay, no, no, not here. I think, yeah, it's this one here. So this is a true or false question. Crop, uh, cropping the video is not included in the editing option. So this is false. If you check, then we get a mark, then we continue watching the video. So we'll be able to get a lot of more other uh, annotation, I mean, not annotation, but the uh, interactivity to the video, and this will definitely enhance the, the, the learning experience of your students in the video. Thank you very much. Um, we'll see you in the next video.